Yeah, the film next Saturday through the night is at 11 o'clock. It's Against All the Odds. It's a tale of two on the run with murder and mayhem thrown in. It stars Jeff Bridges. Now, do you remember him with Clint Eastwood in Thunderbolt and Lightfoot? That was a great film. And Rachel Ward, how could you forget her in The Thornbirds? That's both in Against All the Odds next Saturday through the night at 11. Well, let me be the first to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. You got me, Shamrock. It'll have to be a dry one for me, because I'm on tonight. No, 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 it'll be a nice time watching the family have a good time. Yeah, really looking forward to that. A big hello to the crazy galleon Letchworth, who liked the shirt. Have you got your television properly adjusted? You know? Mm -hmm. Four o'clock this morning. Amazing action from IndyCar World, but I'm off to Burnley for the hit man and her after the news, which is next. It's Easter soon, said the milk and chocolate bunny to the little egg in the shiny cardboard box. Egg didn't say anything. It's Easter soon, said the milk and chocolate bunny. Egg still didn't say anything. Oh, egg, said the bunny, don't be such a square. Have a very hoppy Easter with milk and chocolate bunnies. Inside the People this Sunday, the new style big magazine, and win three fabulous Ford Escort S's. Plus, get your free bingo card by the People this Sunday. Sunday on Anglia. Could you tell me about your relationship with the victim? The victim, as you so delicately put it, was my lover. David picking up some working girl, stranger in a bar. She shot him. I'll leave you to find a woman in black. You seem to have lost her. A new case for Colombo, Sunday at 9 on Anglia. This is Anglia with the news now from ITN. The Prime Minister says the Allies may insist on the supervised destruction of Iraq's chemical weapons before a ceasefire is agreed. Mr Major was in Bermuda for talks with President Bush. Well, I think a great many of them have been destroyed already. But I think uh, one of the things we will be looking at will be to insert in the ceasefire resolution a requirement that the remainder should be destroyed. The mechanism for doing that has yet to be determined, but there's more than one option for that. Saddam Hussein implied that he may use chemical weapons against rebel forces still fighting his regime. American troop movements in southern Iraq are seen as a warning from the White House to Baghdad not to use them. In his first television appearance since the end of the Gulf War, Saddam Hussein admitted unrest is continuing in the Kurdish north. If they persist, their fate will inevitably be like the fate of those who preceded them, God willing. The Kuwaiti government has been criticized for not getting the country's basic amenities up and running again. Water in particular is in short supply. Lorries travel around trying to dispense it directly, but it's leading to long queues and complaints from the people. There's also the threat of disease. Power is still out in many places. Many find cooking extremely difficult. More than 100 MPs from all political parties have called for the resignation of the Lord Chief Justice Lord Lane. It comes after the release of the Birmingham Six, who served 16 years in prison. Lord Lane presided over the month-long appeal of the Six in 1987. At the time, he said the longer the appeal went on, the more he was convinced of their guilt. One MP said Lord Lane had conducted himself in an arrogant, domineering and impersonal way. Rugby. England have won their first Grand Slam for 11 years. They beat France 21-19 at Twickenham. The only English try was scored by Underwood. But the French didn't give in easily. Captain Blanco, in his last Five Nations match, was involved in Mesnel's first try, which cut the difference to two points with just a couple of minutes to go. And that's all for now. We'll have more news later. Hey, up, Michaela. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day today. 
So we're going to give him some of that. Hey, behave. Hey, hey, what are you doing over there? Yeah, do you know? Yeah, do you. Michaela, speak to me. 